Hello all, welcome back. And as you can see on your screen, we are given a circuit with the NMOS transistor where you have a drain terminal, gate terminal, and the source terminal. From drain, RL is connected at one end connected to the drain and another end to the positive supply voltage. The gate is being driven by an AC voltage, small signal AC voltage, let's call it VS, superimposed over a DC bias VB. Now the question is, we are asked to draw the small signal model of the circuit. Remember, the small signal model helps us to understand the AC response or the frequency response of the circuit. So whenever you see an NMOS transistor, we can draw the equivalent circuit of this transistor as shown. This will be your gate terminal at the input side and on the output side, you have a drain terminal and then you have source terminal, which is can be drawn like this. Now at the input side, you have this voltage that is VGS that can be drawn like this. This is your VGS. And on the output side, the drain current, the current that flows from drain to source in the transistor that is controlled by uh, input applied voltage VGS and that is a dependent current. So this dependent current source can be modeled as like this. It is flowing from drain to the source, okay? And source is grounded as shown over here. And the value of this dependent current source is GM times VGS. So you can write here ID equal to GM times VGS or GM is equal to ID divided by VGS. Now, when you have a transistor, which is NMOS that conducts, you have a small resistance that is called as output resistance, RDS, or is also called as RO. So that opposes the flow of drain current from source to drain. Usually it is very high, so it can be regarded as open circuit. But in a real model, we can draw this resistance RDS or RO. So that's your model for the transistor. Now let me draw it like this. So this is your model for the transistor. Now, we are asked to draw the equivalent circuit for the given circuit as shown. So what can be the change here? You can have your output current source, which is a dependent on the input applied voltage. And the GM is the transconductance of the MOSFET. And then you can say that this current is coming from the drain to source and you have this resistance RDS that we just have drawn here. But now along with it, you also have a resistors RL. So when you draw the small signal model of a transistor circuit, the DC voltage sources are set to zero and the DC current sources are set to uh, open circuit. So DC voltage sources are, uh, are are treated as a short circuit that is set to zero. And if there are current sources in the circuit, they are treated as an open circuit. So you can say that when it, this is shorted, the yeah. one end of the RL is connected to the ground and another end is connected to the drain terminal. So here is your source terminal. So the current is flowing and your RDS and your register RL and this is also source here is also connected to the ground. So you can say that this is your model for the output transistor. In this case, this is the basic transistor model. You can add RL here 
to model that effect. Usually, RL is in parallel with RDS and RDS is very, very greater than RL. Therefore, the output resistance, this RDL can be treated as open circuit and then you only have the resistance RL through which the current GM times VGS is flowing, generating a voltage drop output VO will be given as GM times VGS times RL. Therefore, VO over VGS take, which is your gain, would be GM minus GM times RL. Remember, the current is flowing in the opposite direction, creating a drop like this. So your gain is minus GM times RL. So this is how you can draw the small signal model of the circuit given and you can derive the expression of the voltage gain. 